gone extremely against the grain and I've had success with it because when you succeed and you move forward and you accomplish what you want to accomplish, then no one can tell you anything. Ladies and gentlemen, what's up? This is BC. Welcome back. Hopefully you enjoyed the new background. A little darker, right? I put up the Supreme Being to give a shout out to the podcast. I got my 100,000 subscriber a plaque up and we're just getting started. I put like a alligator scale black wallpaper behind me. I'm here in the new office. We're like in the back room. If you remember the office video, I'll link it up so you can see it. Wanted to go with the new look, right? Uh, shout out to my cameraman, Jose. He came out for a day, kind of helped put some of the office together and we're piecing together a lot of the things. And this is one of those. So let's get into it. The world wants you to stay the same. Now, I titled it that because, you know, when you look at everything around you, right? And I was even taking notes, uh, talking about this topic, even to myself and just thinking about it. Everything is set up for you to stay the same and not evolve. The reward system that, that we, we can say like on an emotional level and even like a physical level is set for you to just fall in line, right? You look at the educational system, which is basically built for you to be a good order taker, become an employee and work for somebody else, right? Like most people who graduate with great degrees that I know, and again, I'm not throwing salt on a wound here. I'm just making an observation. I know a lot of people who got masters and PhDs and stuff, and very few of them are actually running their own business and, and making money and employing people. Many of them, even if they have a great degree and make pretty good money, I guess, relatively speaking, they're still an employee of somebody else. And it's like the people who didn't pursue, you know, a higher education and all that for the most part, right? The overwhelming majority are the ones running the businesses and employing these other people. So it, it just blows my mind when you take a step back and you take your emotion out of it, just looking to see where the pieces of the puzzle fit. So I wrote a couple things down and I'm making this observation. I'm letting you know, because you need to pass this filter through everything in your life to make sure that you're not falling into this trap unless this is a route that you chose. If you chose to just get a nine to five and that's what you want to do. If you chose to live what other people consider, you know, the, the normal white picket fence, family, ha 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 life, that's fine. If you actively consciously made that decision. Okay. Now I know some people who made that decision, but very few, a lot of the people who think they made that decision, they never made it. And they're just kind of floating along and they never question their existence. The first kind of thing I wrote here is the status quo, the status quo. Think about that for a second. Okay. If I make anything close to six figures or six figures, oh man, you're the man, bro. You're doing really good. Even if it's a job, like people will say, dude, I don't care if I hated my job. If I made six figures, uh, I would do it. It's like, whoa, 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 so you would trade six figure salaries for being miserable and hating your life. But that's like the status quo, dude. That, that's the average prevailing thought process. Think of the societal standards too. I go online. I critique myself and talk shit about myself and hate on myself. Everybody cheers and, and comes to my aid, right? If I give myself even the slightest pat on the back, even if it's 100% factual information, what happens? Oh, get off your high horse. Oh, you're getting arrogant. Oh, your ego's out of control. Even if I didn't say anything crazy, just giving myself credit for something that I achieved. Isn't that fucking insane? But we never think about that stuff. You post a picture of, you know, getting married, um, you know, getting your degree, having a kid, you get a gazillion fucking likes and engagement. Oh, congratulations. That's so good. Then, Hey, I'm starting my own business. <laughs> Three likes, one comment. Hey, loser. No one's going to buy your product, right? Like it's again, the exact opposite. It's the exact opposite. So when you, when you look at some of those things, you start to realize, man, not only have I fallen into some of those traps, but literally everything by design is is made for me to just fit into this little mold of what I'm supposed to be, right? And then you'll get attacked. Notice how when you wanna start your own business and not have the nine to five as an example, because we're focusing on career specifically for this example, man, everybody comes out of the woodwork. Everybody's against it, you're crazy, right? And, and I kind of parallel that with, think about a lot of people from the past who were like innovators with technology and that kind of stuff, or had these new ideas that maybe were against the norm or against the grain, even if they were rooted in fact, um, you know, good intentions and all that. I mean, they were just destroyed. The reputations were smeared. I mean, there's just so much. Those people were attacked like the Wright brothers, right? And flight and all that other stuff. Anybody who brought something new to the table or said, Hey, you know what? Everybody's going left. I'm going to go right. Everybody shit on them, everybody, but they still had the conviction. They still had the commitment to say, you know what? I'm going to see this thing through because 
All that other stuff that, that I'm bringing up here is external validation and something external. If internally my clock and my compass is saying go this way, I'm gonna go that way because behind that is your code, right? The ethics that you live by and the standards that you live by, which better be high, especially in today's world because they're extremely low, extremely low. Like the very first example I gave you, if somebody had you know core values that were strong, they wouldn't sacrifice their fulfillment and happiness for a higher paying job because I'm not gonna trade momentary misery and all that just for a paycheck. I'm not gonna do it. I don't care, oh, we'll fly you out here. Let's say it's a company I don't like or vibe with. Oh, dude, we'll pay you fucking 20 grand to come out here and speak for an hour. I won't do it because I don't support that company. I don't care if they offer me a hundred fucking thousand dollars. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I've had a lot of companies, even recently, even though you guys are like, oh man, you're super controversial and, and this and that. A lot of companies still want me to you know, talk about their brand and that kind of stuff. And a lot of them offer me a lot of money, but I don't fuck with those brands. I don't support them, number one or number two. I know nothing about them, so I would not associate my name with them because I don't know. I don't know what's up with them. And again, I'm not gonna sell out for money. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Those of you who follow me in the real estate world, you guys know how I feel about Zillow. They've messaged me several times wanting to collaborate. What do you think I'm gonna do? Of course I'm not gonna collaborate with them, right? I'd be a hypocrite, a tremendous hypocrite if I did. Take a look at everything that you're doing and even how you process things, conversations that you have, things that you're gonna post. How many of you hesitate to, to post certain things because of this backlash you're gonna get? Why? You already know you're gonna get it. Embrace it. That's an indicator that you're on the right path because you're going against the grain, which by virtue of you going against the grain and being the person who walks right when everybody walks left, everyone's like, oh, look at this guy, why is he going that way? Hey man, get in line with us. Look what's happening right now in the world with this whole craziness, the P word, right? Pandemic. The little bit that I put up, I get, I get slashed and censored and criticized. It's just ridiculous. Even if it's 100% with receipts and facts and this and that, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Nobody wants to hear it because it goes against the narrative and against what you're supposed to do, how you're supposed to think and how you're supposed to act. And I'm tired of it and I have been for a long time, which is why I walk my own path. But when you walk your own path, you can create success from it. I'm, a, I'm literally the walking antithesis to a lot of stuff that people preach and look at my success. You can't deny it. And if you don't know enough about me to be like, well, who the fuck is this guy? That's fine. Then do your research on me and see what I've actually done over the last eight or nine years. And I've done it my way. I've taken some core basic fundamental principles. Absolutely. But a lot of the stuff I've carved my own niche. I've gone extremely against the grain and I've had success with it because when you succeed and you move forward and you accomplish what you want to accomplish, then no one can tell you anything which is why I've told many of you when you ask me for advice, oh, you know, my family and my friends are against me. Look, when you succeed at whatever that is, when you become successful in their eyes, when you've accomplished what you want to accomplish, everybody leaves you alone because now they can't tell you anything because you're standing at the top of the hill now like, what's up? I made it. And what are they going to tell you? You're not on the climb anymore. You're not at the bottom. You've literally made it. So what are they going to tell you? Oh, it doesn't work. You can't do that. Now they have nothing to say except... Then they'll come back and be like, oh, well, I knew you were going to make it and I was just doing it to protect you and blah, blah, blah. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. They want you to stay the same. The world wants you to stay the same. But the question is, when you collide with that, are you going to push back and be what you want to be and do what you want to do? Or are you going to be consumed by that, that force and just fall in, uh, you know, fall in line like everybody else? That's the question here. Okay. So I really recommend that you guys wrap your, your head around the subject and see it all the time. It's all around you. Become aware of it more and more and you'll start to step away from it okay that's it for this one guys hopefully you enjoyed this video uh and hopefully you enjoyed the new setup give me your comments below to let me know uh, if you guys want to check out my coaching anything else briancasella.com be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already all right peace